short video showing you what Mimecast is and some of the screens that I wanted you to get familiar with now that your new assuredpartners.com account was set up. Um, I sent an email out yesterday explaining a few things. Also, it's attached to that email was the Mimecast Complete User Guide, which looks like this. Um, tells you what it is and gives you information and links on how to access the portal for you, which I will go into further detail in another video. But let me just show you, so now that your account is set up and you're going to start going through your inbox, and the first email that you receive with a link in it is going to bring you to a Mimecast, um, basically, uh, device setup page. Or I'm sorry, I might I think I'm using the words wrong. It is a en device enrollment page. So this is, just to give you an example, this is the first email that I received that had a link in it. So when I click on the link, it, br it brought me to this device enrollment page. Now, I already went through this, but what will happen is that you'll put your email address in here, hit next. You then will receive a second email from DSN Postmaster, and most of the stuff that's going to come from Mimecast will be from DSN Postmaster. And I'll show you an, an enrollment code that you're going to, you, you can either write it down or I just highlighted it, right clicked on it, hit copy, went back to my screen and hit, no, obviously it's not here, but after, I might as well just show you, just I already did this. Yeah, I can't use that code because that was a code from the previous email, so I should get a new one. And there it is. Here's my new code that I have to enter on that screen. I'm going to copy it. Go back here. It's going to paste it in. Next. And all it's doing is bringing you to the link now that you originally clicked on. So now moving forward, every email that you get throughout the day that has a link in it, it's, it's scanned to make sure it's okay. And then it'll allow you to go on to that page. Um, second thing I wanted to go over was a daily digest that you're going to receive from DSN Postmaster. And that was in my notes that I sent yesterday. But what it looks like now, obviously, I don't have one yet because my account was just created. But I just copied uh, another user's from last week. And this is what it kind of looks like. I know it's a little small. But it's basically, like I said, it's a digest showing you items that, that, that Mimecast marked as spam. So it shows you who it was from, the subject, and it gives you three options to choose from. And it even says it in the email what they all for, what they are for. So release basically is, you know, it's just going to release that current email from this person into your inbox, but it's not going to mark that user as safe or, you know, or, or to block them. Um, that this person, if they continuously keep sending you emails, you're going to continuously get a, a, a daily digest with them in it. Second option is to block, which rejects the email and adds the sender, you know, to, to a block list and then permit is to add that user to a safe sender list and permits it and allows it to go into your inbox. Like I said, you're gonna get a few of these a day. I don't know if it's gonna be one a day, but you'll get a few. Um, so that's what, it, it make sure that, hopefully DSN Postmaster's not blocked, it won't be, but that's the email address that it'll come from. Third thing, and it's gonna be a separate video, will be a portal that you can actually log into that shows you, uh, it's a Mimecast portal. Let me see if I have the link up. I do. Um, now, in the, the documentation that was sent yesterday, the user guide, it explains it, um, URL protection with Mimecast, um, Mimecast email management. It's still, here's the link right here. Now, as soon as you click on it, I would add it to your favorites, I guess, in your browser. But once you click on that link, it'll you, it'll bring you to this screen here. Now, this your login and password are the same login and password you use for your email account, and hopefully someone had had given that to you. 
I don't like this line out. I'm just saying if, if other people are watching this video, hopefully it will be the good reason in the first place. Ignore this domain area. There's two options, domain and cloud. Just leave it as is and go to the password. And it will bring you to basically an inbox that started when your account was created. So if you look, if I go all the way down here, so basically my account was created at 10.04. Uh, let me go further. It doesn't show your full inbox from stuff from last year and stuff like that. It's basically going to show you items moving forward from when your account was created. And it's just a basic inbox. Um, there's other settings in here if I hit this ellipse here. It'll show you stuff that was on hold, um, you know, block permitted, auto permitted, rejected. It's basically just a portal that, you know, not necessarily you need to go into it now, but like I said, there'll be a video later on about it as we get uh, further understand it. That's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, please let me know and I will get back to you. Thanks.